Good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm having a wonderful time here in Costa Rica. I, um, I, I've never felt more in touch with my myself, my life, and really in the moment. And that's great. It is it's and really sweet, Steve. I'm so happy for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's a wonderful experience. And what I my question. And it may not really be a question that just the term that comes to mind is that I've been living with a lot of inhibitions and fears. Okay. And I'm seeing, as you say, this is a laboratory. So I'm going to slow you down. Yeah. So in the last two days, have you been with, living with a lot of inhibitions and fears? No, no, and it's been well, great. There's something called transformation. Transformation is a phenomena. It is not something that you do or manufacture. It happens when you get into the, this moment of your life. So you've been attentive to what's happening in your life in the course room here. You've been listening, you've been participating, you've taken your attention off of you and your life transformed. Yeah, it, it feels great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's but you know, uh, the other thing is you underestimated something here. Uh, you got yourself here. You set the stage for transformation to happen. It has clearly happened. It's happened multiple times with you. So you, the Steve, who registered himself as having fears and inhibitions, still made the leap to come here, not knowing what you would discover. So... You underestimate your greatness, even including those things that you've identified as something you may want to dissolve. So you've been a great man, and you are a great man all along, not just when you're and, approving of yourself. <laughs> and you couldn't have conceived that you could feel as good as you've been feeling. It was outside your reality. Yes. So it wasn't a possibility. Me. But now it's a possibility. It's more than a possibility. It's a way of life. It's definitely a reality at this moment. Well, all there and is, I'm hoping... is this moment. Yes. yes. See, well, I know you're <clears throat> hoping that it will last in the future. It, it won't. It'll be different. It'll change from moment to moment. You're, you'll have different sensations when you get on the airplane. It's likely colder right now in New York. There's... Your life is always moving and changing. So if you try to hold it, you'll get lost again in your thoughts, which is part of your strong suit. You're very, very smart. And one of the things that you've done here is you've given yourself permission to drop more into your body. So uh, I wouldn't worry about losing it. You will. But then you'll get it back and again. Come back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I like how you mentioned my body because I, I feel much more comfortable in my physicality in many <coughs> ways um, that hasn't all in the past been my strength. But I feel really a natural ease in communicating with people. That's excellent. I'm it's, so happy for you. Yeah. It feels good wonderful. sitting with you, too. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just loving being here and being with all of you. Just make sure that you don't misidentify being here as in being here in Costa Rica as opposed to Steve being here wherever he is. In this yeah. moment of his life. Yeah, being myself. <laughs> no, you added that. Okay. Because that puts a pressure on you to, to be, be a way that you have a thought you have an image, a picture of how you should be. What being yourself looks and then, like. And then you'll put a pressure on yourself to be different than your being in yes. current time. Cool, I see that. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. For more information about the Canes, their books and seminars, go to transformationmadeeasy.com.